I think overall that's looking good. Now we can go over to post and in here we can actually change the overall brightness of the image. So let's say we want to brighten it out by 0.5. We can actually do highlight compress as well, which will stop the image being over exposed in certain areas. And then the white balance is very much like you'd have in a camera. So you can make this cooler or warmer. And 65,000 is kind of neutral. So if you want to make it a little bit warmer, let's put it on about 7,000. Uh, contrast, you should know what that does. Just add contrast to the image. Saturation, I'm just going to bring down a little bit. There's nothing worse than an oversaturated image, in my opinion. Um, filmic highlights. These are quite nice, you can pump them up and shadows as well, kind of see what that's doing there. Uh, vignette, you can add a small amount of that. Colour tin, um, I don't really use but it adds a tint to the image. Curves you can add here um, and it will save you going into Photoshop. I mean, this, this ultimately does away with Photoshop, which is kind of cool. We've also got LUTs, which are lookup tables, which are pretty much, I kind of consider them like Instagram filters. Pretty much nine times out of 10, we'll use the Kim lookup tables, which are here. Let's just use number two. You can bring the opacity down, it doesn't have to be so full on. And then we've also got bloom and glare, which are quite nice. And you can see what that does. Add some sparkles, but maybe do that after the render. And denoise, which we need to turn on in the render settings.